Hello students, welcome to Learn Guru classes. So today we are going to discuss about heterotrophic nutrition under the chapter life processes. So in this video you will get to know about what is heterotrophic nutrition, what are the different types of heterotrophic nutrition in detail. So after watching this video as usual your concepts about this topic will be very clear. So with this note, let's begin our class. Heterotrophic nutrition. Heterotrophic can be split into hetero that is others and tropic that is nutrition. So the process by which living organisms are dependent on other organisms for their survival is known as heterotrophic nutrition. So, heterotrophic nutrition, in heterotrophic nutrition, the living organisms can't prepare their food because there is absence of chlorophyll in them. Heterotrophic nutrition is further divided into parasitic nutrition, saprophytic nutrition and holozoic nutrition. So, let's study one by one in detail. The first type of heterotrophic nutrition is parasitic nutrition. So under this nutrition, the organisms relies on some living organism. Means they stay on any organism that are alive. So that may be either plant or an animal. Okay. So they derive all the nutrition value from that living organism. So these type of organisms are called as parasites and on which it resides are called as host. The common examples of parasites are tapeworm and lice. So let me give you an example that tapeworm actually resides on the intestine of human beings. So they are actually transmitted to the body through food contamination and may cause abdominal pain, vomiting etc. So in this way, they cause harm to the living beings. The second type of heterotrophic nutrition are the saprophytic nutrition. So in this process, the living organism is dependent on dead and decaying uh, substances for their survival. So saprophytes play a vital role in the ecosystem as it tries to keep the environment clean. Also they are very beneficial because they break the complex organic substances into simpler substances by sitting on the dead and or decaying organic matter like proteins into amino acids, starch into sugars and fats into fatty acids and glycerol. So in this way saprophytes help to maintain a balance between the environment and the organism. The common examples of saprophytes are some fungus that seeds on uh, rotten bread. Also the mushroom that seeds on damp log of wood or dead and decaying organic matter. So in this way, the complex subs organic substances that is present in the dead and decaying organic matter is being converted into simpler substances by the saprophytes. The last type of nutrition is holozoic nutrition. So here basically animals undergo holozoic nutrition where food like in the form of solid or liquid is being digested within the body and is converted into simpler substances and is absorbed by the cells of the body. Now holozoic nutrition, the animals that undergo holozoic nutrition are divided into herbivores, carnivores and omnivores. So herbivores, the animals that are dependent upon the plants for their survival are the herbivores. Example, cows, buffalo, goat are herbivorous animals. Carnivores. So carnivores are the animals that completely depends on flesh or meat for their survival. Example, tigers, lions are, are carnivorous animals. And 
omnivores omnivores are just like us which depends both on plants and animals for survival example human beings so human beings has to take plants also for their survival or else eggs or meat also they take for nutritional purposes now in the next video we will be discussing about how digestion or nutrition in human beings occur that follows under holozoic nutrition this is all about heterotrophic nutrition so in the next class we are going to study about nutrition in human beings in detail so for that you need to stay tuned to learn guru classes so if you find this video helpful please please subscribe to learn guru classes like and comment and share it with your friends and family so thank you so much bye bye